Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, November 16th. I am currently getting ready for a family outing. The husband and I are taking my son Kai out um, to a few museums and to Grant Park and all that stuff. So it's just gonna be a fun-filled day for our little family here. Um, yeah, so I'm finishing up doing my hair. If you're wondering what, oh, no. um, <laughs> what straighter I'm using, I use the Croc Classic. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Croc products, but it was recommended to me by my brother's girlfriend, who is um, a hairstylist, so of course. I completely trust her judgment and I really love this straightener because it actually, um, I find that like I can style my hair and then it's good for a few days and I may need to touch up just maybe the top layer from um, sleeping. But yeah, great, great, great straightener. And my son wants to be seen. Say hi. Who's that? Who's that dude? Apparently <laughs> uh, he likes to be on camera. Um, yeah, so... It's gonna be a fun day for our family and I'm just gonna take you along um, for the day. Oh God, now he's having a meltdown because he wants the camera, so. I am going to pause right now and I'll check back in later. Now, I need to know who can sympathize with me and postpartum hair loss. I mean, my hair, I'm not losing as much hair anymore, but everything's growing back. All the hair that I lost is grow. Oh my God. You see, you see that guys? It's just uncontrollable. Yay, makeup is done. Um, I just need to put on a little bit of lipstick and then finish getting all of her stuff ready and then I need to get dressed. I'll show you what I'm wearing um, in just a few minutes. But so much sadness, I think I left my tripod in Miami. So I just went like on a huge search for it because my bags are still not unpacked from Miami. I went straight into another uh, four day kind of trade show work here in Chicago as soon as I flew back from Miami. So literally I, I've only been off for a day, <laughs> only a day. So I need to do all of that at some point, but it's not gonna be today. Not having a tripod makes things kind of difficult. You should see my current setup. I have the camera sitting on top of a mug leaning against my computer. But we will make do, my friends, we will make do. Luckily, I have my husband with me today, so he is going to do some recording. Yeah, but I am so excited. I um, was able to sell something via a Facebook buy sell trade group. Um, I'm super into travelers' notebooks, planners, agendas, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I, you know, I really give into that hobby. And I like to buy stuff, trade stuff, sell stuff, all that stuff. So there's a Facebook group specifically for um, the Chic Sparrow um, fans, like people that love the Traveler's Notebooks that I use. And I was able to sell one and because I haven't been using it. And I just hate that it kind of is, has been sitting on my shelf and not being used. So rather give it to someone that will really enjoy it. All right, he's getting um, fussy. <laughs> my outfit of the day everything is pretty much from madewell long sleeve kind of fell asleep here and these are the nine inch seam high skinny i can't remember but they're nine inch inseam the skinnies from madewell these are like six years old these are my steve madden boots and i'm going to be using my backpack this was made by my friend i'll link it down below but 
a little leather backpack. I'm going to be running around chasing after Kai today, so I figured a backpack would be easiest. Definitely went through some stuff. So this is an exhibit that we're walking through right now, which is all about how life began on Earth. <laughs> and y'all, I'm geeking out. I've forgotten like everything that I was taught in school about how life began on Earth. So this is pretty dang cool. So apparently, this is the largest flying animal that has ever existed on Earth. It is called the Therosaur. Yeah, could you imagine if that thing flew at you? Oh my god. Yay. So we just finished at Field Museum. Now we're just gonna walk around the city while Kai takes a nap, or at least I hope he takes a nap in his stroller. Um, if you have not had a chance to go to the Field Museum and you are planning a trip to Chicago or live here currently, you need to check it out. Um, they have a brand new exhibit that leads up to the Sioux. A T Rex exhibit, and it was awesome, and I highly recommend it. So, yeah, it's really hard to walk and talk. I'm gonna have to get used to this if I want to continue vlogging. But in the meantime, I am going to focus and not fall down on my face. Okay. Hi. Where are we? <laughs> So we are now in beautiful Palmer House. Palmer House is a Hilton um, hotel in Chicago. And my reason for coming in here is because they have a really cool pen store called Anderson Pens. And I like to get um, a lot of my fountain pens from here and inks. So since we were downtown, I figured I'd stop in and see what they had. So we just got home. Kai is currently roaming the house, standing next to me currently, eating a snack. My hubs is taking our dog Murphy for a walk. So I thought this was the perfect time to show you everything I got from Anderson Pens. Oh my God. I got a lot of stuff that I'm super excited about. Some of my viewers are into pens, some of them are not. So if you're not, I apologize, just skip through this. But the other people that are into pens, I know that you'll be just as excited as I am. So. I got 
three new inks. Um, the first ink is from Iro Shizuku. This is the color, it doesn't say what color it is. Oh, yeah, this is the color. I don't know how to say this, but now it's probably reading backwards on there, but whatever. It is on the pinker, pinkish side. I don't have a pink ink, so I wanted to give this a try. And I'm a very big fan of Irishizuku. I got the Kobe ink in Nuno Kuki Emerald. My son wants to be a part of the video. Okay, yeah, perfect. So um, I got a another ink from Kobe. Um, not another ink, I'm saying another ink because I had just gotten a yellow ink from Kobe just recently, but this is Emerald. I'm super excited about this one. Um, and then this, I have never used this brand before, but it's Herbin brand. Um, and this is the Rouge Grenat. And at Anderson Pens, they do like a, a an ink of the week, and this was their ink of the week. And I fell in love with the color. It's like a cranberry, and I decided that I needed that ink so yeah i acquired these three beautiful inks can't wait to ink up my pens with it um and i got some new pens now whenever i go into anderson pens um you, you just never know what they have in stock um and I was pleasantly surprised but because, whoa, can't talk, because they had um, the Esterbrook pen that I've been looking at online in stock in fine nibs. So this is the Esterbrook box. And this is the pen that I got. It's like a beautiful resin body. Uh so pretty and it is so lightweight i'm obsessed and i can't wait to ink it up and then i also got two other pens that i've been looking at i got the pilot custom 74 in the teal color also in a fine nib i'm a very big fan of the custom 823 um, I actually have it inked up and currently in my pen roll. Obsessed with that. And then I also got one more Pilot pen. And this is the Decimo in a, like, a shiny color. It's a Click fountain pen, also in a fine nib. Well, I'm not even in the camera. <laughs> Sorry. Also in a fine nib super excited about this pen. I have a vanishing point and the vanishing point body is a little bit um, like thicker um, than this Decimo. So I've heard great things, great reviews. So I'm super excited to tr ink up these pens and start using them and to have them displayed in my beautiful pen roll. Um, this is what the inside of my pen roll looks like. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is my Pilot Custom 823. My Platinum 3776 Cherry Blossom. And my Pilot Vanishing Point pen. And then I have other pens here in pencil that is um, not fountain, not a fountain pen, but yeah, that's in my pen roll. Some of you may know that, and some of you may not know that I'm a huge, huge journaler and um, huge lover of fountain pens. So yeah, I had to stop at Anderson Pens because I'm very rarely like that 
deep and downtown. Your dad. Our condo is very far north, and Anderson um, Pens is like way downtown. It's like further south of Chicago than where we currently live. So I very rarely go there. And if I'm ever close enough to Anderson Pens that I can walk there, I will always make a stop by. And today was like hitting the jackpot. I got all the pens I've been eyeing and the inks that I've been mm -hmm. eyeing as Bye -bye. well. So yeah, that's my little uh, fountain pen haul. I we are going to probably do like a little movie night. Kai has never seen Lion King, so I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm waiting for the boys to start the movie. I really should pick up all the toys off of the floor, but I'm lazy. And we have transformed our living room into a makeshift bed, all set for movie. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And also bears. We have bears to fear too. Say nothing of lions and wolves, weasels. I lasted about 20 minutes during that movie. <laughs> Oh my god, it was a really cute movie. I don't know if you've seen Zootopia, but it was really cute and I was really enjoying it. But man, I could not keep my eyes open. And I don't even know how I was able to sleep as long as I did because Kai was climbing over me, sitting on me, poking my face. That just shows how tired I am. But... Yeah, uh, little homie is now taking a bath, getting him ready for bed. Um, and Matt and I are probably going to snuggle up and watch a movie ourselves. So anyway, had a great day today. I am so glad you have joined us on our little adventure. Um, until next time, see ya.